Hello there, welcome to LeetCode C Sharp. As the channel name suggested, in this channel we are going to cover a lot of uh, lead code problems in programming language C Sharp. The reason we are using the C Sharp language is because it is uh, very easy to convert the solution to other languages such as Java and Python, etc. And C Sharp is such widely used programming language in the enterprise uh, development, enterprise application space. Okay, we, without further ado, let's get started. Today, we're going to look at the uh, lead code problem number one, Tucson. Let's see what this problem is about. Given an array of the integers, return indexes of the two numbers such that z add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, so that, that's important. And you may not use the same element twice, so we're going to get to that as well. Okay, always read your problem carefully, understand the problem, you know, what's the condition, you know, what it's looking for. So for this one, let's look at the example. A given array of integers and uh, the target is 9. So we're looking for adding two numbers to the target 9. So if you, we scan the array, um, now the first element and the second element add up equals to 9 so hey we found the solution so we return the indexes which is 0 and 1 immediately so we, because it has exactly one solution so once we found it we return right away Let's um, see how we're going to implement this uh, with brutal force. So basically, we will have two you know, loops, a nested loop. You know, uh, we have outside loop. We're going to have integer i. Start with, of course, the first indexes. That's the uh, outside loop. For inside loop, we're going to have note here is because you can't use the same element twice. So the in internal uh, loop, we're going to start with i plus one. We're not going to look at i a second time. That's the internal loop. Of course, uh, if, the, if it satisfies the condition, say if we have nums i plus nums j equals to our target. Hey, we found a solution. Return right away. Of course, uh, I, J, right? What if we uh, go through the loops and there is no solution?
Well, it's possible we found nothing. We just say not found, you know, for the simplicity of it. Okay, we have here obviously uppercase. Let's run the code. All right, runtime. Output index zero one, expected zero one. Looks good. Let's submit. Okay, so runtime is uh, 400 milliseconds faster than 43% of C sharp online submission for, for this problem. Apparently, uh, that's pretty slow. So uh, we, we're going to um, improve the time complexity here. So we have a nested loop here. So basically, the time complexity is uh, big O of n square, n being the length of the array. Uh, because we have a nested loop, so it's it's n square. So it's one loop inside another. So it's n times n is n square. The way we're going to improve this is basically we're going to get rid of the nested loop. So we're going to have only one loop and trying to find our solution uh, by just scanning the, the array just once. So in C sharp, the way to do that is uh, basically the concept is uh, using a hash table. In C sharp, it's going to be a dictionary. So we're going to define a dictionary of integer. Let's say we call it hash table. You can name whatever you want. So it's a new dictionary of integer. What we are going to do next is, with help of our hash table, we are going to do a one-time pass of scanning of the array elements, trying to locate those two that adds up to the target. If we find it, um, if we find those two elements, then we return the indexes, and we are done. If we don't, then we are adding those elements to the dictionary along the way. Let's see how we're going to implement this. We're going to define an integer called complement, which is complement of our current integer. we're looking at okay so so if so we're checking the hash table okay with if the hash table contains the key That means we found it. So we just simply return the previous okay, previous value stored previous index rather stored in the hash table and the current index. 
and if we don't we simply store the value as the key of the hash table and our index becomes the value of the hash table and with, with that we can run the code the input I mean the array it passes and we try to submit okay it's accepted now the runtime is 244 milliseconds it it says a faster than 82 percent of the c-sharp submission uh, which is I think is good enough. The reason this solution is much faster than the last solution, if you remember last time we, the runtime is 400 millisecond, uh, it's only 43% of the OC shop submission. So the reason is um, we did a one pass scanning of the array here instead of uh, a nested loop. So our, our runtime is uh, runtime time complexity is big uh, big O of n n being the length of the array is linear in uh, in other words if you remember the last time uh, the runtime complexity is big O of n square because of the nested loops. Okay, we this all for today's uh, leap deep code problem number one uh, we are going to have a lot more lead code problems and solution analysis so I hope you uh, subscribe and like and I'll see you next time bye bye